Hi, this is John and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking to you about CrossFit and I want to read to you uh, just right off of their website. There's a few points I want to make about CrossFit. Uh, this is straight off of the CrossFit website, their main website. Uh, this is not, by the way, a bashing video on CrossFit. I just want to let you know. It's just my true uh, evaluation of it and uh, opinion of it. Okay, so. On the opening page of CrossFit, it says the key to health and fitness. CrossFit is a lifestyle characterized by safe, effective exercise and sound nutrition. CrossFit can be used to accomplish any goal from improved health to, well, to weight loss uh, to better performance. The program works for everyone. People, <laughs> people who are just starting out and people who have trained for years. It's a little difficult reading this, by the way, because it's, it's just going dark on me all of a sudden. The workouts. The magic is in the movements. Workouts are different every day and <laughs> modified to help each athlete achieve his or her goals. CrossFit workouts can be adapted for people at any age and level of fitness. Interesting. The lifestyle. Off the carbs, off the couch. You know, sounds pretty good. The CrossFit lifestyle, a combination of diet and exercise is the key to fitness and long-term health. I like that. The community, your support network at more than 15,000 affiliates around the world. People encourage and motivate each other in every class as they work toward their goals start training with friends. I like that as well. And then there's a quote at the end of the homepage and it's by the founder of CrossFit. It says, eat meat and vegetables, nuts and seeds, some fruit, little starch and no sugar. Keep intake to levels that will support exercise, but not body fat. All right, cool. And that man's name is Greg Glassman. All right, look, CrossFit in and of itself, uh, just I'll put up some running pictures up here uh, so you can see for yourself. Group exercise, true, true. Uh, the exercise, the choice of exercises that they're doing varies quite often. True again. Uh, taking people in a group training setting and having them do Olympic lifts specifically, uh, where it's not with a one-on-one -on -one coaching situation, and in a lot of cases, the teaching is insufficient. The amount of time given to learn the movements, I have found with some of my friends, some of my acquaintances who have taken CrossFit, insufficient to become expert level or to sufficiently learn the movements themselves for Olympic lifts, whether we're talking about you know, clean and jerk, snatch, uh, that type of training. Highly ballistic training on certain days of the week when it comes to using those Olympic lifts specifically. Highly ballistic training when it comes to doing what they call kipping when they do chin ups or pull ups with a kip. It's sort of like a fish uh, type motion that they get in directing their bodies to get up over the bar. Um, you know, muscle ups, kipping. Uh, they're Difficult, challenging, uh, very challenging to the joints. When we're talking about doing anything involving high velocity, this is not low velocity movement. When you're hoisting weights for time, the difference between, number one, in Olympic lifts, between Olympic lifters and crossfitters is that crossfitters are doing a lot of these movements for time, with weight for time. How many repetitions how many can they do in a certain amount of time? This is challenging. The form breaks down in the course of as many as you can do in one minute. That's challenging. Olympic lifters do sets of three, sets of one, at most sets of five in their training with those Olympic lifts, but it's always in the name of keeping that really good form. They do focus on increasing the weights, but they're using very good form. So I don't like that. I don't like 
any lay person learning how to do Olympic lifts and or kipping chin-ups or muscle-ups up to a bar and having to go ahead and do that for time or for how many can you do. And in a group setting, which is often very, very positive, so I don't want to bemoan or be negative about the group setting that we're talking about here. In a group setting, it's great, it's motivating, it's awesome. However, it'll make you do things and go far beyond your normal good form in any exercise in the name of continuing on and getting more repetitions. That's the challenge. So it's a little bit dangerous, this CrossFit. The diet. I like it. Uh, I like it. They lower all processed carbs. They eat more of a keto lifestyle, which is fine. Uh, dropping processed carbohydrates, it sounds like. Fantastic to me. So I can say a good thumbs up on the diet end of it. Gets people you know, to drop some body fat. However, the lifting itself, the exercises themselves, when it comes to those types of things, running a little red line right there, a little dangerous. Uh, I've seen enough, again, empirically in my profession, in the gym for the last 37 years. I've seen enough CrossFitters show up with blown discs, blown knees, blown shoulders. Truth, bottom line, at a higher percentage, I believe, than simple bodybuilders in the gym. So that's it. It's my opinion about CrossFit. I give it a, if you have to cover several factions, you know, several facets of CrossFit, exercise selection, thumbs down, don't like it. Group atmosphere, atmosphere for training. I both like it and I don't like it. So it's 50-50. I like it because it's a group atmosphere, very motivating and you get good you know, relationships and make new friends. Fantastic. Love it. Supporting each other. Love it. Will it push you too far? In a lot of cases, yes. So that's why I give it a thumbs down. Nutritionally, diet that they promote, how to eat, lifestyle of eating. I like it. I give it a thumbs up. So basically I'm thumbs up and then a split and then a thumbs down. Mm, kind of neutral all the way across. Uh, for the sake of the injury factor, that over and above overrides most of the other issues. I don't like that part. So therefore, I personally don't recommend CrossFit. That's my own personal as a trainer and my experience in training people over the years and what I've seen and what I've seen CrossFit do. And that's it from my heart to you, John Hart. Thank you very much for stopping. Hey, do you want John to be your personal trainer? Get your training and diet managed online by Mr. America himself. Go to MrAmericaHeart.com. It's in the link right here below in the video's description.